So this is an issue I had with Flow, which was resolved on the form, and I thought I would update the video just to show the resolution. Uh, it's actually an uh, interesting subject, and I hope you find it valuable. Okay? Thanks. Okay, so this is a quick issue I have with Flow. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or not, but as you can see, I've got this cylinder here. I've got this uh, squ perfect square here. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to put a sphere from the origin, and it's going to be about, let's say, about that big right there. And I'm going to actually rotate the sphere out so that this little seam is not on the top. So I'll move that. Now we can see the seams on the bottom. Okay, so I think that might have a problem with uh, the flow. I just want to get rid of that seam. So. Take this sphere now, we're going to go construct. We'll take a Boolean intersection, choose a square, done. And that's why that square is chosen. I'll make that planar and delete that curve. Then take this and cut, cut that or copy that and delete this and then paste. So now I've got this kind of tent shape and I got this sphere that's kind of sitting a little below here. So what I want to do is I want to use flow to move this up in here around this this perfectly square tent shape. So I'll start off by selecting it, I'm going to transform, deform, flow, uh, select, uh, and then I'll just click here on this side, click here on this side, and notice that, that it is oblong, it's not perfectly cylindrical. I don't understand what that is, so if I cancel out of there, I'll try it again, flow, and I'll try this side, let's try it from here, and let's try it here, and again, I get the exact same same result. So, not sure what that is, but uh, just thought I'd ask and see if there's something I'm not doing right. Thanks. Okay, so Berman and Michael definitely uh, gave me some tips on what was going on and how to fix it. So, uh, uh, one thing I did try, I have to say, is I did do the show the points. If you show these points, you can see now that that's the points of the original sphere, and I can do a uh, shrink trim surface there, and now I've got that. And I thought that that was going to be good enough, and I could just select this, flow it, click here and here, but it turns out that that wasn't that wasn't going to work either. And the reason why is because if we select this, select one edge now, and do uh, this is the trimmed edges. I'm going to select the edge, and then I'm going to Command A to select all the edges, delete them. Now you can see that that is indeed an oblong oblong surface and that's the reason why so this needs to match that so there's a couple ways of doing it um, and I think maybe the easiest way is just to take this copy it and paste it and then say show points and uh, or, I'm sorry uh, and then just take the one we just pasted and completely flatten it so we've got it flattened just like that and then we can uh, drag it right back down to the model and then I'm gonna basically uh, uh, actually undo that first let's delete this one okay now we'll do it okay drag it straight down and then I'm gonna isolate it and now I'm gonna show the points in it and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make it a, a perfect square so the way to do that is I'm gonna take and just select uh, all these points here actually yeah. Yeah, these points, this one, this one, click on the top button, put them up there, and we'll select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, again, bottom button, and put it there, there, and then uh, let's turn off, hide the points, and go back in here. So now we should be good, and as you can see, now when we run our flow, uh, click here here we have a, a perfect perfect circle at the top so anyway that's great news thanks guys uh, very much appreciate it um, and uh, uh, we'll go on from there thanks